unit? Uh, we got some guys back. Uh, Ryan Edwards is back uh, practicing, and uh, which is good to have that leadership back at the nose guard position and give us our get our depth back. Uh, besides Glenn and that type of deal, but uh, no, I think we got some good work. Good work on Troy. Uh, Three extra practices last week, and then uh, obviously the coaches got out, got some recruiting done uh, in the bye week, so uh, got a lot accomplished. Uh, uh, what, what was the impact of not having Ryan for those, for those couple of games? Well, I just think his experience and, and, and our depth, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, Cato filled in some uh, old linemen. We got moved over in that type of deal, and uh, but Glenn did a good job. It's just, you know, at that position, uh, you can't play 70, 80 plays uh, a game. Uh, we've got to get somebody else in there, and that's just the nature of the position. But uh, having Ryan back is a big plus. How are you guys preparing? Are you preparing for all three? Uh, uh, good quarterbacks question. This week? Uh, they've played all three. Uh, last week they've played all three pretty much uh, the whole season. You know, they've wrote to varying degrees. But, uh, you know, I, I think we'll see the starter. Is it Silver's? I think uh, we'll see him, and uh, and they'll go from there. But I'm sure we'll see all three. They're all three different. Uh, Silvers is, uh, spins the ball, does some running. Uh, the six seven kid is strictly a spin the ball guy, and uh, number one is their athlete. Uh, he'll he'll run the ball. He'll also throw the ball, but uh, a very good good runner. So each one presents different challenges, and uh, we've got to know who's at the quarterback position. What have you seen from your, your secondary in the past few games? Have been getting some takeaways. Oh, yeah, I think they've been playing good. Um, uh, Dorian has uh, played very, very well. And uh, we kind of stick him in the boundary. So he gets a lot of one-on-one -on -one scenarios. And uh, he's done a good job. And uh, Armand and uh, Russell on the back end uh, have been getting better. And uh, uh, Kendrick Trotter is working the other corner position. Uh, he's been getting picked on. Uh, just because Dorian uh, is clamping down, and that's the nature of the position. And uh, Kendrick's just got to keep battling, but he's done some real good things. Is he one of those guys you got to kind of inspire confidence in when he's getting picked on like that? Is he no, no, no. He's got. If you're going to play corner, you got to have a lot of confidence, and you got to have a short memory. Uh, you got to be able to go to the next play, and Kendrick has that. And uh, you just keep reminding him, and keep focus. He's one of our most physical. Uh, corners that we have, and he loves to stick his head in there. But uh, real pleased with the way he's playing. How beneficial has it been to been able to when you guys are losing guys to move around guys like Armand and, and oh, Kendrick to stuff? Yeah, no doubt. Uh, we do a lot of cross training, and uh, I believe we had 18 defensive players uh, make the trip to Arkansas State. And uh, you know, I think NFL rosters are larger than that. But uh, no, and that's the way it is. It's the next man up. We cross train uh, at multiple positions, and that's what you have to do. And, and uh, uh, so that bye week has helped on that too. What kind of skills does uh, specifically Kendrick possess to be able to kind of get above corner and safety? Well, I just think his physicality lends himself to the safety position because that position is more involved in the run game than the corner position. And uh, so. Uh, That'd be my answer. You know, his physicality, and then uh, you know he's played corner basically his whole life. And in the fall camp, we got to work him at safety. Uh, so you know that helps. You know he can go back to fall camp and remember those things that we worked on. Does it make it more difficult to prepare for three, or would you rather pre prepare for one <coughs> quarterback? That is, well, it's you know you get your game plan together because the the dude is the running back. Um, I mean, he is unbelievable quick. Uh, he is fun to watch. He, he plays hard, plays the game that you you love to see, and that's the guy we got to get ready for. Uh, they're going to hand the ball off to him, and that type of deal. But in terms of the passing game, uh, you know the, those three present different challenges. Uh, the screen game is big with Troy, <clears throat> more so than what we've seen all year. They have a multitude of different screens of getting the ball to the perimeter very very quick. So. Uh, that's one big big area, and then obviously the run game. With a little bit more time to look at things on film, have you been able to find a common denominator maybe between the big run plays you guys have given up so far? Yeah, uh, well, that didn't need time to do. I could find that out on Sunday, but usually on game day too. It's generally we just we get a breakdown. It's one guy, and when you're playing as a unit, 
Um, when there's 11 guys out there, you do your job. And uh, if one guy is out of position, uh, or maybe two guys, you know, a, a, a four-yard gain, gain can turn into an explosive run, uh, more than 10 yards. So that's the thing that we're really trying to focus on is just do your job. Uh, don't worry about the next guy, you know, and that's what we want. Don't be Superman out there. Uh, just do what we ask you to do. Do you think sometimes guys try to be Superman out there? I think sometimes. I think, and, and not in a bad way. Uh, just trying to make plays and that type of deal, and then can get out of position. We're good. Thanks, Thanks, Mike. Right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the.